We split through they block, let off some shots After that, we took the masses off Got a little bitch, man, a been so bad When she called me, almost crashed the car Just heard yo was blasting off Last time I seen him, he was playing basketball Damn, who put that bitch in his hand? He don't, 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 and that bitch didn't dance Damn, he had homies like Sam Whoa, 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 this your boy Logic, X3000 LCE, we in the building. Shout out to everybody in the Battle Rap community. Hit that like button and subscribe button for me if you're new to the channel. Now look, the Untold Truth documentary of Norbs came out. Um, In this documentary, he had named a list of battle rappers that he brought to the URL and that he helped pr propel their careers in battle rap. Jazz the Rapper and Calico being a few of the names and a few of the people that decided to respond on Twitter in regards to Norbs' comments on bringing them to the URL. Debo jumped out there. You know, he had to add his two cents. You know what I'm saying? He was like laughing my Soft, Norbs ain't fine, Jazz the rapper, nor can he take credit for bringing it to the URL. The things y'all don't know behind the scenes is a gang of interviews with a saying, Debo found me. I tell you the real story soon enough. So I don't know if he going, yeah, you know I mean, go on his platform and discuss what's up, you feel me, or he got an untold truth, yeah, you know I mean, he might want to do you feel me? I don't know, but Jazz went off of that comment and was like. I don't know what y'all got going on, but Debo found me the night I did this in 2010. He DM'd me on Twitter after saying it's live with Oom P. Now, she did a little um, radio show interview with Oom P on his radio show back then on, in 2010. She said Debo had hit up after that, and yeah, I mean, it, she, she was lit after that. You feel me? And we all know, man, Norbs definitely had a lot of he definitely deserves credit for a lot of work he did for the URL and a lot of um, work he put in for the artists, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean? The spotlight he put him in, you feel me? But as far as, you know what I'm saying? Like creating who they was or, you know what I mean? Like they was nothing before Nobs seen them type of thing, you feel me? Like a lot of battle rappers feel differently than that. So um, Calico... He responded to a tweet on Twitter and he said, Norbs ain't responsible for nothing over here. Bizarre, Proof, X Factor, Miles, Quest, and Marv all have joint custody of the start of my career. They all played parts in key moments of my starting point. And then somebody was like, who made that call for you for your URL debut? He said, X Factor, Miles, but Marv and Quest had already taken me to debut in grind time before all that. But Bazaar had already put me against Prince Lord twice in a real battle setting when it was real. That molded me for my debuts in front of the world. Now, um, like I said, man, people got their own perspective of how, you know what I mean, they elevated or how they got their start. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it's, People like me from the outside looking in. Yeah, you know I mean, so there's always three sides to the story. Now, some key points or takeaways I got from the documentary. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, it's, he had his cruddy ways. You all well, they got their cruddy ways. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to dispute that in, in court, whatever. But, um, yeah, you know I mean, just some ways they treated Joe was like <laughs> crazy. You feel me? They left yo out in the rain, like Missy, in the in that one video. Him and Chico like was beefing back and forth like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Chico was sabotaging them, not getting them rooms, like all type of wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, as well as all the work he put in for the events, like he had got the Mayweather gym. Yeah, you know I mean for the face offs. And smack and them took the credit from him, yeah you know I'm saying? Like ain't give him no type of shine for it. <laughs> like, yo, there's a lot of stuff that he um broke down in his video. Um, which shows a lot of contributions that he made to the URL. And I think he might have been better going into the lawsuit, like, as far as suing him saying that he's old for the work that he put in for the company 
over the 10 years, you know what I'm saying, he was he didn't get what he deserves rather than going and saying that he's part owner, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously URL got the paperwork that shows his name not on none of that, you know what I'm saying? So it's, all he really got is circumstantial evidence right now, you know what I mean? And it could show that he's owed something, but we just going to see how much that is in, at, in the end of the day if he's able to disclose that, you know what I'm saying? This your boy Logic. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You're.